God is a creator. That's why nobody can keep him in a corner. You deserve the glory. And the honor. Every battle going on. Yes. Concerning your destiny. You are declared a winner. And I bless your hope. In the name of Jesus. Wherever men want to keep you by this anointing of creativity, this year you are coming out of that corner in the name of Jesus. I lift my hands in worship and I bless your holy name for you are great. You do miracles so great. Don't you shall see images. Blood eyes are up to that glory of God. Take it up. And whatever I could have done for you, there let the mountain go for you. Good morning, Ghana. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to come to your houses and your hotels and wherever you are watching us today. Some of us are watching us outside Ghana. God bless you for tuning in. And I know that your life and destiny will never be the same. We are reaching you from Holy Hill Chapel Assemblies of God. My name is Koyo Boatin Bempa. And I know this morning there is a miracle that is about to hit your life. And your life and destiny will never be the same. In life, people go through different situations. It can be financial. It can be mental. It can be relationship. It can be in ministry. But I want you to know that with God, all things are possible. In the scripture, Acts chapter 4 from 29 going, the disciples came to a place where they had a very challenging opposition. But look at the prayer that they pray. They pray and they say, Now, O Lord, Acts chapter 4, verse 29, Behold your threatenings, and grant unto thy servant that with all boldness that they may speak thy word. Verse 30, they said, By stretching forth thy hand to heal, and that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus. Signs and wonders. They had a problem, and the prayer was that, Lord, Stretch your hands and let there be signs. Let there be wonders. Why? Because everything in life surrenders to a miracle. Every problem, every mountain surrenders to a sign and a wonder. Therefore, this morning we are bringing you a word on miracles. And as you hear and you believe, the Bible says, to him that believe, all things are possible. God is going to reach you at the point of your need. We here are enjoying the miracles and so many mighty miracles are happening. The sick are being healed. God is disgracing poverty every day. So many kinds of miracles are happening. Students breaking through any kind of miracle. I don't know what you need, but I want you to know that this morning, if you hear the word and you believe it, your life and destiny will never be the same. Receive a miracle this morning as you hear a word on divine intervention, on miracles, and on signs and wonders. I will come back and I'm going to pray for you. And today we have a very powerful testimony on this segment. Watch out. Because testimonies are arrows of faith. As you hear, God is going to touch you at the point of your name. God bless you. Let's listen to God's word. I'm going to come back and pray for you.
sometimes you see somebody say, oh, this one is driving a nice car. That's in there. Huh? You may never know. You may never know. You may never know. Most of the time in the church, those that look very executive, Charlie. Her problems are Who want to preach it? You preach and you call it. Me and Bali say. When I get close, I can sense you out. Everywhere, we bought all of them in the spirit, brother. You have heard me talking like this. Then we collected one, we have collected two. Don't doubt this one <laughs> by the mouth of two or three witnesses. The truth is what established. Because Jesus is coming like locomotive. Listen, all of us don't live near here, we are very far away. Jesus is building a new city in Seca. Trawan. Trawan. Yeah. 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 Tell to somebody, expect a miracle today. So, now here, don't postpone your miracle. Miracle is in the now. Expect your miracle today. Expect your miracle today. Expect your miracle today. Expect your miracle today. When I go to New York Airport, eh, they, they are doing some changes. I don't even know where I was going, whether I would take train or to, to get my next flight. Time will come. Holy Ghost. You brought me here. Hey! One elderly man, American man, he showed up. Hey, man! You know something? I said, man, I need many things, man. He's 62 years old. He's holding the thing that they push, trawler. But you need $5. When I even got the vacancy to $6. To put it before you draw. The man came with the trawler. He said, stand here, don't go anywhere. I'll take you to wherever you are going. My God. I packed my things on it. I thought maybe the man is doing some things. I'm getting, man. I'm going to say, don't move anywhere. I'm going to show you what he does. I'm going to show you what he One minute. He went, one, two, three. He came. Please, listen to the most surprise. I thought that the man is going to do that so he will charge me. So, he came and pushed the trolley. And when we were going, he was talking, he was talking. He was talking, he was talking. He said, I'm 60 something years old. Something, something, something. Push. And then, whilst we were going, everybody that landed at the airport, the man is showing them direction. Hey, man! Why are you going? No, you miss your room, man. Go to room number two. I'm saying I'm touching the trolley. He said, man, don't touch the trolley. I'm leading you, man. I said, man, go. I'm following, man. Hey. Please, miracles are real. Miracles are real. Listen, he took me. We joined one train. We stop, we join another one. White people are getting lost. White people, their own airport, they are getting lost. The man will show them, you show them, you show them. He carried me. When we go to the check in, he said, I'm going to check you in. Stay here. He pushed the distance, spoke American English, check me in. When, when he finished, I was going to say, Man, how much, man? Before I could say that, he wrote his telephone number on paper. I'm going to marry you some other time. God bless you. Ah, the man has been with me for 45 minutes. I said, no, I won't let this in you go. He said, man, you don't have to pay me, man, nothing, man. I said, man, I have to bless you, man. I was surprised. So I, I, I gave him $20. Said, I'm going to catch you another time why am I sharing this testimony some of you have got into a crossroad you don't know where to turn they say I don't know anybody in that airport I'm telling you but see I'm in terminal 4 I'm going to terminal 8 I look on the paper I can't find where the terminal is I say why people are getting lost some five ladies they went say 
gina won san e bibi en ti se gana na se ko si pomponu ya plani be tu o be you will die in the airport the man carried me i didn't pay for it like 45 minutes he was with me when he finished he said man i got to see you and i don't know that you will see angel in a human form how many of you think that you need help i need help oh my babo bo shebe after today's service you will meet people at every crossroad God will send you a miracle man a miracle woman take it take it take it take it are you hungry for a miracle be desperate for a miracle be hungry press for a supernatural encounter of the living God this guy he had this testimony so frustrated he didn't know what to do he was passing by Legon. he entered into one class and he sat down in the class he said bishop i closed my eyes to sleep and i had a vision a man has brought students into a class when he's holding a long cane and he's showing them and there was a boy in our class called christian i saw him in the vision the man said christian you have four years to travel around the world. Then he turned to this guy who is a pastor and he said, don't do anything. In 10 years time, I will prepare you and show you to the world. Ah. He will point the cane at you and give you some years. The guy woke up, he never understood the vision. How many of you heard the thing that killed people at Mekong? That Christian guy was inside the shop. The day that the Mekong killed them was the fourth year. After that vision, he was a very strong, he died as a martyr. Then the guy said, ah, in the vision they gave Christian four years, Christian died exactly on the fourth year. Then my own ten years is true. Sometimes you can interpret somebody's miracle in your own. I told him, so don't doubt. He said, Bishop, Christian died exactly the fourth year. Because in the vision, the king said, in the next four years, you'll be over. I'm believing God for encounters for people. Some of you in your car, you are going to have an encounter. Some of you today, whilst the service is going on, whilst the service is going on, you are going to have an encounter. How many of you say, I expect my miracle today? With your hands. Nothing is impossible. Oh, come on. Sing the song, Barry. I expect a miracle today. I expect a miracle today. Where are they? Come on, come on, quickly. I don't have time. Come on. Lift your hand and say, I expect a miracle today. Wave your hands. Those of you outside, lift your hands. your bottle of oil. Don't look at your watch. God is giving you an experience. If you don't have oil, have compassion. Pour, pour oil in somebody's hand. Pour oil in somebody's hand. If you have oil, move around and bless someone. Just a little. In your right palm. Just a little in your right palm. I believe that's what is still the same. Sing out, sing out, sing out, sing out.
lifting up the oil in your hands. my mother a cripple. Their mother doesn't come to church. He took the oil and sent it to her. The woman jumped back to life. Today life is going to come into everything. Lift it. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the mystery of the oil, I turn the oil from chemistry to mystery. Healings, miracles, breakthroughs. When you apply this oil on your forehead, you are specially selected for a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I declare that cancellation, miracle money, miracle scholarship, open doors, business breakthrough, receive it. Tumors in people's bodies are getting missing. Healings of blood cancer, hepatitis, HIV, every sickness that has a name, by the mystery of the oil, you are out of people's bodies. Every demon that has attached itself to anybody's body, causing pain and trouble and hurt, I command you out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Get out of your bodies. Amen. By the count of three, you are going to lay this oil on your forehead and begin to blast in tongues and decree your miracle. One, two, three, four. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree miracles, miracles, miracles. Come on, professor. Professor, ya taku. Receive your miracle. Receive it. 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 Take it. Now. Now, something is breaking for something is busting for something is breaking for something is busting for oh god bless you we are about to take you to watch this powerful testimony god is doing so many amazing things and i want you to listen because the bible says testimonies are arrows of faith as you listen to the testimonies, they boost your faith so you can also believe God for the same. Watch this testimony of what the Lord has done in the lives of people. For I'm sure He's going to do the same thing in your life. God bless you. My testimony came yesterday after the impartation service. My company has been pursuing for a contract, like exporting contract, for more than two years now. Every year it comes and then we'll sign the contract, we don't sign. It comes, we'll sign the contract, we don't sign. But this very year, by the grace of God, we got a contract to supply cashew nuts for about 1,500 metric tons, covered by RC, meaning the payment will be made after we have supplied. Then the supplier will tell the bank to release the money. So we have to use our own money to do the supply. And we needed close to about 5 million cities to do that. In fact, we spoke to our bankers. They gave us so many reasons why they cannot do it. Because Ghana economy is not good for financing, export with the LC, so many reasons. So we kept praying. We told Daddy, Daddy always used to pray with me, Chairman, and Minister Cosmos. God, we are leading the company. And one day, one of our foreign partners said, Okay, I'm going to give you money to do 
the export because the season is almost over. So the partner sent us money to start buying. The money is to pay for about 20% of the whole contract. So we started buying. We bought the cashew, transported it from the place to Tamaport, booked containers, about eight containers, ready to be shipped on last Friday, the Friday that we had the, the uh, partition service. Then the buyer called that he has a representative in Ghana. He wants the representative to do a test to see if it will meet the requirement before we ship the goods. And we said, okay. So the representative came. And then we went to the port. The goods were already stuffed in the container. So we had to retrieve some of them. And then they did a test. The first container they did, in fact, they changed their, their face. They started complaining at the port. This is not the quality that we agreed upon. And then they rejected the whole thing instantly. Unfortunately for us, there were some other people who were also shipping um, the, the same, same cashew. So they went there, took samples of their own, and then compared to our own. And in fact, you can realize that there is difference. Our own is dirty, substandard. Let me use that word. So instantly they rejected, and then they even left me at the port without knowing what to do. They are staying in my house. So I came home asking them, what are we going to do, even if we have to reduce the price? They said, no, they cannot do that because there's a quality that we have to ship. Other than that, when even the thing even gets there, they can't even take it from the port. In fact, for more than a week, I've been out of myself. <laughs> because of that, I couldn't even come for last Tuesday's uh, service. I don't know what happened. Daddy will always send me a message asking me, Malam, he calls me Malam. <laughs> Is everything okay? But we all know Daddy, he will never ask you that question because he already knows that everything is okay with you. So he won't ask you, but he kept sending me messages. Then I will tell my wife, Daddy is asking me this and I don't know what to say. And I don't want to say that, Daddy, there's something wrong because that is not the teachings that he's been giving us. So when he said, I will reply, yes, daddy, by the grace of God, everything is okay. But within me, I know everything is not okay. So what happened? And then on, I think Wednesday, around 2.28, daddy sent me a, a message again. Malam, is everything okay? What about Vida and the kids? Then I started crying. Because we have already bought more than one million cities worth of cashew. And where are we going to send this? In fact, we, 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 we had to retrieve the whole goods from the container, find a warehouse at Tema, and then put them. Try to see if we can get another buyer. We called about two people who are also buying cash. They took samples, and they never called us back. So I decided to tell Daddy that, Daddy, everything is not all right. When we came to the service, Daddy kept declaring that no contract is going to be abrogated. And I said, this is my portion. And again, Daddy called everybody and laid hand on us. So I decided that I won't go and see Daddy again. By faith, I know something has happened. <laughs> Yesterday morning, these people are staying in my house. Yesterday morning, early morning, they called me that Adams, the buyer is in Togo, and he wants to go back to China through Ghana, and he wants to see us. So if we can go and meet him. And then I told them that, no, I have a program with Daddy. We are going to preach somewhere, so I can't go. But you go, whatever happens, when you come home, tell me. At exactly 12.30, I was with Minister Alex. After we came for the, from the program, we were going home, and then... These guys called me, Adams, where are you? The buyer says that he wants to see the cashew. So can we go and see it at Tema? And I said, no problem, we can go. When we went, I was not having the key. The key was with my agent because he booked the warehouse for me. I called him. He came. We opened the warehouse. The buyer came with his wife. 
Immediately they took sample like in their hands. They said, ah, why are you saying you can't shave this? In fact, they said it in Chinese language. So I didn't understand. And then one of the representatives translated it to me in English, saying that they are asking that why can't we ship this? And I was just there. And they said, oh, can you ship it within five days? I said, why not? We can do that. We can ship it within five days. And he asked me, why is it that Ghana, the bank, cannot give me that money? Okay, Tuesday, I will go with you to the bank. And then I will give... 50% of the total weight. In fact, I nearly collapsed at a warehouse. Wow. Thank God for watching and I know that your faith is lifted. I want to pray for you for your own personal miracle as you just watch this uh, testimony. There are so many testimonies going on People are being healed of HIV, 10 years inability to freely go to the toilet, broken by the power of God. Maybe you need a miracle, and I want you to know that miracles don't have limitation. I pray for you in the name of Jesus as you watch me. May the Lord give you a miracle in your body. May the Lord give you a miracle in your finances. May the Lord give you a miracle in your academics. Whatever area you need a miracle, I decree in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in Jesus' name. Miracles are not in the future. They are in the now. As you are watching me, I want you to know that you are receiving a miracle. Look on the, on, on the TV. There are certain numbers. In case you get a miracle, begin to testify. Because one of the things that causes you to hold that which the Lord has given you is for you to testify. And I know that once you have heard this prayer and prayer has gone on, somebody just got a miracle. In your body, in your business, in your finances, whichever way you got a miracle, let us know because God is still in the miracle business. God bless you for tuning in. Let us hear your testimony. But now, the greatest and the most important miracle that can happen to anybody is the miracle of salvation. In case you are not born again, you are not saved, I want to pray. Pray with me this sinner's prayer. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for the opportunity to hear your word. I know I'm a sinner. I invite you into my life. Come into my life as my Lord and personal Savior. My sins are forgiven. I'm washed by the precious blood of Jesus. I'm born again. I'm saved. Glory to Jesus. And now I declare Jesus is Lord over my life. Ladies and gentlemen, if you pray this prayer, I want you to know a spiritual transformation and a metamorphosis has taken place. Your heart has just changed from black to red. You have been born again. Find a church wherever you are. If you are in a crowd, come to Holy Hill Chapel around the Kwame Nkrumah Interchange. Come every Sunday. We are here two services. One in the morning, one in the afternoon at 11. And we have also evening services. Your life and destiny will never be the same. If you are not in a crowd, make sure you don't say that, oh, where I live is too far from church. I want you to know that many of you drive kilometers and miles to go to work to look for money but this one has to do with your soul and your soul is more important than money jesus said what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul work on your soul because the day is going to come this your body will drop and it cannot take you to heaven but your soul will stand before god so work on your soul it doesn't matter how long where you live make sure you find yourself in church this sunday and your life and destiny will never be the same We'll come to you same time next week and we know that by the time we see you again, you will have a miracle. God bless you. See you same time next week. Amen. Are you ready to dine? Bring your troubles to the Lord's table and see him take them away. It's annual and bigger. It's Holy Hill Chapel's 2017 Higher Life Breakfast Meeting. Theme, Encounter with the Living God. Happy
happening live on the 7th October 2017 at the Accra International Conference Center at 8 a.m. sharp. This year's Higher Life Breakfast Meeting is going to be an all-glorious banquet with the living God. The 2017 Higher Life Breakfast Meeting is hosted by God's servant, Reverend Dr. Kojo Boatin Bempa, Head Pastor of Holy Hill Chapel AG. Ministering live is the Euphonious Holy Hill Chapel Music Ministry. It's going to be an unforgettable experience in the presence of God. For more information, please call 0244-833-893. It's the 2017 Higher Life Breakfast Meeting. Come and be blessed.